Okay, so we have our lovely Vauxhall Insignia company car. Uh, we have a Cantrack GPS unit. As you know, there's no installation, but there are still some best practices that we ask people to follow in terms of fitting the unit. So what we're gonna do is just run through that. Okay, right, so here's our Vauxhall Insignia, uh, and we've got the OBD port on this vehicle is actually down there. Now, it's actually very discreet, so you wouldn't even know it was there if you went looking for it and you go on your hands and knees like I am. Uh, sometimes it's right there all the way towards the back, just underneath where the pedals are. Um, sometimes, like on a Ford Transit van, it's underneath the steering wheel, uh, behind a plastic panel. Uh, but on most commercial vans, as you'll see in a separate video, it's over there where the, uh, the, the passenger side is. There's a fuse compartment and the OBD port is in there. If you're not sure where it is on your particular vehicle, just Google it. Just search OBD port for uh, Ford Transit or, or Mercedes Sprinter and you will find the locations for your model year. Yet again, as long as you've got a vehicle that's 2004 or later, you will have an OBD port. Okay, so first things first, we need to uh, get the uh, the cable out of the bag and just uh, and just untie it there. So we've got the um, we've got the, the the end of the the OBD uh, port here, uh, the, sorry, cable here and the port here. Um, we can't really go wrong with this one because it's uh, it only fits in in one way. Just get it on, push it on nice and firmly. Do have a little look around and think about where exactly you're going to locate the unit. Uh, you want a nice flat surface uh, to actually locate the unit onto. And I'm going to take that out of the box now as well. And obviously you've got a flat surface for the Velcro. The Velcro is already uh, attached on uh, on one side. So um, the, the side that the Velcro is on is, is the side that you want attached to a surface with the white label of the unit, if possible facing up towards the sky it, it's it's not essential but this white label here is, is best if it's facing up but this unit's really tolerant so you can have it going to the side you can have it going to the side there what we try and say though is don't have the actual unit facing down with the velcro on the top section because this is the satellite receiver and just like in your your sat nav it performs best when it's got a good clear view of the sky but this is a really tolerant uh, unit so you can put it in a variety of locations uh, without any any penalty at all so so what we do next is is we just take the uh, we, we take the the other end of the cable yet again you can't really go wrong with this one uh, it only allows you to plug it in one way because of the uh, the jacket connector that you you hopefully can see there just plug that into the the unit and immediately you can see that we've got we've got lights on the on the system and that's going to start configuring itself and getting itself ready to go so i won't peel the velcro off yet you want to think about where i'm putting that and and where the cable will run to it once you've figured out for one car obviously you can do it for any Okay, I've had a little scout around underneath here and, and actually there's a, a really nice uh, area just in here which is it's got a plastic panel on it uh, and all I'm going to do is just peel off the, uh, the, the Velcro and I am going to get that unit up nice and high and out the way. I'm going to put my hand there and I'm going to hold it for a little while and it's really important this, this place, you don't know how clear it is on the video to see, but this place here is in no way interfering with the driver's feet. And, and it is something you need to bear in mind when you're doing this, you mustn't have any cable or the unit itself interfering with the driver's feet. You don't want a safety hazard as a result of it. So this is nicely tucked out of the way. I've put my feet on there and made sure that there's no interaction. And I could have put it in a number of locations, tucked up here, up here, or even um, you know underneath a, a part of the trim somewhere else. So I can put that unit anywhere that I want to. Um, and now all I've got to do is tuck this cable away. And in fact, right, so there's there's probably a tiny bit of, of additional cable there that I, I can actually tuck away, but mostly it's gone. And what I really think is important for people to understand is that, that once that's gone, there is no visibility of that unit. And in fact, unless you get down on your hands and knees, you're not even going to know it's there. It's out the way. It's, it's not going to get in the way of the driver. There's no cable lying around. And unless you're specifically going around looking for it, you're not going to find it. And don't forget, this is now going to have just told the system that it's being plugged in. It's going to automatically start downloading its configuration and working. Um, and it's going to have sent an email to uh, whoever the administrator is of the system saying that it's being plugged in. And vice versa, if anybody unplugs it, it will tell you that too. Buy today and you can track tomorrow.